Chapter 1153 continues with Mr. and Mrs. Brown expressing their desire to take Sony back to their home. However, Serenity objects, stating that they never took care of Sony before, and he may not adjust well to being with them. She suggests that they can visit Sony during the daytime instead. Mr. Brown explains that they want to make up for their past absence and offer help to Serenity's sister so she can focus on work. He asks Sony if he wants to go with them, but Sony insists on staying with his mom. The awkward situation prompts Liberty to invite the Browns to sit on the sofa and watch TV while she continues eating with Serenity and Zachary. As the Browns sit on the sofa, they notice the bags of expensive fruits that Serenity and Zachary bought. Mrs. Brown envies Serenity's ability to afford high-quality fruits for her sister and recalls how Chelsea, their other daughter, used to take fruits from Liberty's house whenever she visited. Mr. Brown expresses his frustration with Chelsea's behavior and regrets not supporting Liberty during her divorce from Hank. He blames himself, his wife, and his daughter for the family's current situation. The Browns discuss the strained relationship between Liberty and Hank, noting that their constant quarreling was not conducive to Sony's well-being. They acknowledge their own mistakes and realize that their actions contributed to the downfall of their family. Mrs. Brown pouts in response to her husband's criticism but acknowledges the desire to benefit from Serenity's marriage to a wealthy family. Mr. Brown sternly reminds his wife not to create unnecessary trouble and they both express their boredom with living in their son's house. While Mr. Brown wishes to return to their old home, Mrs. Brown insists on staying in the city close to their son and daughter-in-law. The chapter ends with the unresolved tension between the Browns and Liberty as they still hope to take Sony with them.